Hi guys, it's Heather from heathercristo.com and today we are making Chinese Five Spice Beef and Pepper Stir Fry. I am absolutely loving this recipe right now because when I come home from a long day at work, I want to make something fast and easy that my family still loves. Butcher Box is actually making that especially easy for me because I show up after a long day at work and surprise, I have a magical box full of a bunch of meats that I selected that have been delivered right to my doorstep. It's making meal planning super easy and taking some of the hardship out of like having to go to the grocery store five times a week in order to get protein for dinner. So today we are doing the beef stir fry, which is a favorite of my husband Pete's. And I think the special ingredient is the Chinese five spice powder that I'm going to show you. So first I'm gonna do the sauce and I'm gonna thinly slice a couple of cloves of garlic. And they don't have to be minced because we're gonna stir fry it all together. And I don't mind the little caramelized bit of garlic. And then I'm also gonna add some freshly chopped ginger, just a few tablespoons. And then I've got the Chinese five spice powder, which is amazing. And then some red pepper flakes for a little heat. Then I'm gonna add rice vinegar and some tamari, which is gluten-free soy sauce. I'm gonna give that a whisk. And when it's really well combined, I'm gonna thinly slice my steak. So I've got some top sirloin here that I got from Butcher Box, And I just thawed it while I was at work and now it is ready to go. I like that it's pre-portioned since I tend to get a little portion happy and it's a really good reminder of what a serving size is supposed to look like. So I've got these two lean, lean pieces of meat and I'm gonna slice them against the grain so that I get a really tender bite on my steak. And I'm gonna put them directly into this sauce. And I like to slice like really pretty thin pieces because then they cook really quickly in the stir fry. So this is actually grass-fed beef, which I am a big fan of, and there's no antibiotics in butcher box beef or hormones, so all thumbs up in my book. Okay, so I'm gonna let this beef sit for a minute while I get this pan heated up. You'll also notice that I've got one yellow onion that's been chopped up and also I have two peppers that I just sliced into thin slices. And this is beef and pepper stir fry, but you could certainly swap out broccoli or bok choy or string beans. They would all be delicious. We are gonna start with this. So I'm gonna bring my beef over. I just have a heavy skillet that I'm heating on high heat. You know this is hot enough when you take some water and it immediately crackles and evaporates. Now it's hot enough. So I'm gonna take about a tablespoon of coconut oil, which I love for a stir fry, not only for the flavor, but because it holds the high heat really well. Just spread that around the pan. And then take these thin strips of steak, and we're just gonna briefly sear them. You don't wanna overcrowd the pan, so I just do half at a time. When they start to get brown on the edges, flip them. So you guys, because this steak is so thinly sliced and so lean, you really don't wanna cook it for very long. That was probably less than a minute with both sides combined because I don't want well done steak. I just want it to be like about medium in this recipe. Okay, so set that beef aside. Add just a little bit more coconut oil and then you wanna add your vegetables. While those start to cook, I'm gonna take what's left of the sauce, which has a lot of the garlic and ginger, and instead of adding cornstarch, because I really try not to have cornstarch, I'm gonna add a little bit of potato flour. And this is one of those rare times we're not trying to cook these vegetables until they're totally tender. We actually want them to be somewhat crisp, so I really just like to do this for a minute or two. Now I'm gonna add this sauce with the potato flour in with the vegetables because I want that garlic and ginger to get a little cooked. And then in with the beef, give it a stir. You can add just a little bit of water if you need it to help loosen everything up. Okay, I'm gonna load all of this into a bowl. Now I've got the easiest dinner 
My kids would definitely want this with rice, but Pete and I are trying to be super healthy right now, so I would probably go this low carb version with just the protein and the vegetables. Awesome way to highlight this delicious butcher box grass-fed sirloin. Okay, I hope you enjoy this very tasty, easy dish. Better than calling for takeout. Definitely faster and more nutritious, so you'll feel great about feeding it to your family. Enjoy.